If you go into any restaurant or fast food establishment and say the words, I know the owner. Listen, man. It rarely works and it's just kind of, you know, just kind of makes us look a little dumb. I've had this happen a number of times and I've talked about these in shorts or TikToks before. But somebody will always come in and say something like, I know the owner. In order to try to get something for free, like a drink or a cookie. I mean, I already give the cookies for free. You know that. But they'll just pull out the I know the owner card. And you know, I don't think these people are doing it with any malintention. It's kind of just something that you do if you know the owner, I guess. But I've gotten into to some pretty awkward conversations and awkward moments because of these things. So I think the most awkward time that I've had when somebody told me that they know the owner is they were telling me about how the prices are way too high at the place. And listen, you guys already know that most prices are just set by corporate and they're like advised to be this much. Plus food costs are really high. I've talked about this before in a previous video, but the prices are already pretty low on margins and they're like just enough for a business to survive in whatever area they're in. That's why every different subway has a different price set. You'll run the same margins, but different areas just cost more or less. Well, anyways, this person was just telling me like the worst, like two dollars for a drink, like a dollar for a cookie. I guess I'm a dollar for a cookie. You know it's free, but it's really right. It's really uh, eighty five cents. But just basically giving me the works on pricing, and then I had to charge her for like extra cheese, which was like sixty cents. I think that was like that was the one step too high. And she was basically like, "You ought to just tell the owner of this place that they aren't running a right business. Everything's way too high." And I was just like, "Ma'am, that's me." And it's just like it's so odd. Awkward, I promise. Another time is a lot of people know my dad. And because they know my dad, they think they're obligated to get something like a free drink. I mean, maybe they are. If they're with my dad, I mean, I give free cookies. Maybe I, my dad gives like free drinks. But I know that I can't just give out free drinks to random people that say they know my dad. So it's usually whenever I'm finishing up a sandwich, we're going to ring up the order and they'll just grab the drink. They'll be like, oh, you know, I know the owner of this place. He's a great guy. He usually always gives me this drink for free or this bag of chips for free. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I don't know if that's true. The owner of this place is in Indeed, my father. So I can double check with him if you'd like, but I just think that paying $2 for the chips or the drink just, you know, it's the right thing to do. And so those moments are pretty awkward, I'm not gonna lie. But otherwise, a lot of people that say they know me or my dad, they're always super nice. They're like, your dad's a great guy. They'll automatically know that it's me because, like, I kind of look like my dad. But those are always the best types of people. They want nothing. They just want to let you know how hard work in your family is. Oh, uh -huh. these people are amazing. And my dad and mom are amazing. Shout out to those two. There's a lot of people that come in for my mom, too. But that's its own entire separate video. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to slap it a like and subscribe if you're new. If everybody watching this video subscribed, we'd be hitting 2 million in like a day, maybe an hour. All right, that might not be true. But anyways, have a beautiful and blessed day, everybody. Take care of yourself. Do something positive for the world. Go get yourself some yummy food. And remember, eat fresh. Peace.